Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am gonna be going over some products from Oma Beauty and they're coming to America collection. I got these from Beautylish. They sent them to me because they were on my wish list. I recently did a video with them and I had to do this video. As soon as I saw this palette right here, I was like, <gasps> Yes, there are two other palettes as well as a highlighting palette, some liners, but I didn't get those. I do have the lipsticks and this Coming to America Royal Heritage palette that I am not going to touch in this video because I'm wearing a white hoodie. <laughs> I don't want to get anything on it. I literally put a bag, yes, a plastic bag over my head <laughs> so that I wouldn't get any makeup on the hoodie whenever I was finished. And you're probably like, well, Mel, why are you wearing it? Because I want to. Because a special friend sent it to me and I want to wear it and I do not want to get anything on it. But I've got swatches, so it's okay. And I will be swatching all three of the lipsticks on my lips. But before all that, let's get into the information. On the front of this, we have this beautiful artwork, Coming to America, Oma Beauty, on the back, Black Magic, and then it says Royal Heritage, and it says that it was made in Italy, 18 month shelf life for anybody who was wondering, and this is the inside. You do have a mirror and it reads Royal Heritage Noun. When the big bucks start rolling in and then it says don't mess with my money. And then these are the shades. Now, I am not sure. I was trying to look on their website and I'm not completely certain if all of these are shadows on the actual box. I was looking around to see if it said anything about pigments. And I couldn't figure it out, but it does say color palette. It doesn't say eyeshadow palette. So I would assume I'm looking and I've got, Ooh, I'm getting this off before it ends up on my shirt. I'm assuming that there might be some pigments in here. It's an assumption. I'm not actually sure, but I wanted to mention that just in case it retails for $44. I'm going to read to you guys the description as I am showing you the swatches. Online it reads, Queen, accept your crown. Our exquisitely crafted and highly pigmented color palette from our limited edition Black Magic Coming to America collection, named for 10 magnificent kingdoms of ancient Africa, journey through a collection of the most pigmented matte colors, otherworldly sparkle textures, and vibrant metallic finishes. Our best-selling Black Magic formula delivers lavish textures which transform into ultra-thin yet full-colored swatches for a long-lasting and water-resistant finish. And it is cruelty free. Then I have the three Hypnotic Impact High Shine Lipsticks. These retail for $22 each and the shades are Peaches and Akeem, Sexual Chocolate, and Not So Mika. The benefits, comfortable wear with max hydration, buildable for high shine color, formulated without parabens, talc, or D5, and these are vegan and cruelty-free. I have created two looks for you guys using the palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and show those to you. Afterwards, I will go and I will swatch the lipsticks, and then I'll give you guys my two cents. On the Zoeva 227, I'm gonna start off with the fourth shade in the bottom row. Tapping this on the outer corner, and then bringing it into the crease. My apologies, my camera has been doing something a little funny. I don't really know, <laughs> it keeps, I keep thinking it's recording, but then it's not. So the initial place down and then into the crease was, uh, yeah, not recorded, so my bad. Anywho, I'm taking this and I'm gonna blend upward. Now typically I like to take my shades pretty high, but I'm gonna keep them a little lower today just because I want it to be springy and fun and this beautiful like pink, but I don't want it to be overboard. And that's also the reason why I'm not going in with technically the lighter, brighter shade first. I'm gonna take the pink and apply it here to add that color, but I want this to be right around the edge. I'm taking it all the way to the inner corner. Grabbing a little more so I can get more pigment on this inner portion of the crease. 
then outer. And then I want to make sure I get it on this outer portion right here. Even though I will take a sponge and clean up the area, I want it to be a nice smooth transition of color. Picking up a clean 227, I'm now going to go in with the third shade in the bottom row. I am going to add this to the outer lid and into the crease, it's brightening up the look. If you wanted this to be a little brighter than what it already is, you could go in with this shade first and it would definitely pack a little bit more of a punch, but I just wanted a little bit of a softer pink and I think the other shade being right around the edge gives it that softer appearance. I'm not taking this shade all the way in. I'm taking about three quarters of the way in, just not all of the way. Again, making sure I blow it out on the outer corner here. Going back in with the original 227, just to make sure those blended together well. On a new Refer 26 pencil brush, I'm going to go back in with the original shade. I am going to take that all along the lower lash line. I am going to have it smoke down just a little bit more. Let's blend out the bottom. This is just a Royal Inlay Nickel BOM 430. Taking that same brush again in the brighter pink. I'm going to go a little closer to the lash line. Now I'm going to go in with that bright purple, the first shade in the bottom row, on a Bristles Beauty EO2 RL. Stamping this on the outer corner. Then I will lightly bring it up to slightly smoke out right above the crease on the outer portion, but not too much. Sponge, I'm going to clean up by just dragging it upward. Third shade, top row on a Zoeva 234. I'm going to start pressing this on the center of the lid and lightly over the purple and also pushing it up into the crease just slightly. I don't want it to be a harsh line. I will be building this up because I'm using it dry. You could use your finger and it would be more opaque right off the bat or you could go in with it wet. You guys know I like to use my shadows dry. It's just my preference. And I like to see how they perform without any help. Now I do not have my primer set though. So it does have something to grip onto. This is just a Nabla highlighter brush, and I'm just cleaning up fallout because you will get fallout, especially with those glittery shades. Isle Life on a Refer 21. This is the very first shade in the palette. I'm going to place this on the inner corner and lightly drag over the last shade. And again, going upward into the crease area and the excess right at my brow arch and that kind of melts everything together as well. Adding just a little bit more because more is more. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to go back in with that beautiful purple on a refer number three. And I'm going to take this right along the top lash line, but not quite to the inner corner. And then I will go add on inner rim liner and mascara. Second shade in the bottom row on a Zoeva 227. I'm going to start by stamping this on the outer lid. And I'm not going to be super precise with this. It's going to be a little messy and then I'm going to you know, clean it up. Then I'm going to put a little bit on the inner corner. This brush really is kind of too big for this, <laughs> but I'm going to blend it up into the crease. So I just wanted to go ahead and start off with this. If you guys hear thunder, 
during this. I'm sorry. We're having another round of storms. It's been all day. And if you're in Alabama or any of the states that had tornadoes, um, I know t we in Tennessee did, but luckily I was close, but we just got some wind damage, thankfully. So I am thinking of you, and I just wanted to let you guys know that. Oh, it's just, I feel like it's going to be one of those really bad storm seasons. Going back in, starting again, lower, and then going upward. And going towards the center. I want to use this as a transition shade. I will be taking a shade right around the edge, but I wanted this to be pretty pigmented initially before going in with the other shade. You don't actually even have to do the next step that I'm going to put right around the edge, it's just if you want to. Same shade on a Sonia G soft shader. I want to intensify right on the lid. A little just up into the crease just a tiny bit. I'm going to be going over this with another shade as well, but I want to make sure that this is evened out as well as on the inner corner. This helps to get right all the way to that very, very inner corner. Same shade on a Sonia G Pencil Pro. I'm going to smoke this shade on my lower lash line. I don't know what it is about this color, but I'm really, really drawn to it. On a Yano series from Beautylish brush 8, I'm going to go in with the fourth shade on the bottom row. I didn't pick up much, but I just want to go right around the edges of that last, or the first shade, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a step you could skip if you wanted to, but I wanted to blow this look out just a little bit. Ashanti on a Sonia G Mini Booster. This is the very last shade in the palette. Kind of creating a little bit of a halo effect. So I'm going to stamp this on the outer corner. Into the crease, and I will be smoking it upward, but I want to get some of the pigmentation off of the brush first. And I also need to place this on the inner corner. And start smoking it upward on the outer. Transition crease area. And slightly upward on the front portion. As you can see, the shade is extremely pigmented, so I'm going to be going in with the Zoeva 227 with no additional product, just blending the edges. I'm going to take a sponge and clean up the outer corner. Sonia G Builder 3 Lash Shade First Row. I am placing this on the center of the lid, dragging over, blending it all across and up into the crease just slightly. I'm going to take the gold on my finger and I'm going to start just kind of pressing that onto the center of the lid. You could use a brush, but I want it to have a little bit more of the foiled effect. I'm going to blend slightly around the edges, but not much. Refer 21 in the shade Kush. I'm going to take this and lightly highlight the brow arch. Mixing it into the other shades and it kind of lessens the harshness. Same brush and a little bit of Isle Life and I'm going to place that right at the tip of the brow arch. Royal and Lang Nickel BOM 435 going back in with Ashanti. I'm first going to place this 
right up against my lower lash line. And I'm going to be doing the same thing to the top, just kind of lining the top lash line, but with a refer number three. Now I'm going to go back in with the gold on an eSIM V09. I'm using this wet to help with precision. I'm applying it right on like the inner corner and dragging it out slightly. Same brush using the shade Kush Wet. Applying this directly to the inner corner. And then I'm going to go add on liner and mascara. All right, mascara, inner rim liner, that finished everything off. Now I'm gonna try on the lipsticks without any liner. The first one I'm gonna try is the one that I was wearing in my Beautylish gift card event, because these were sent, I think I already said that, but just in case I haven't, <laughs> these were sent to me by Beautylish, because it's on my wish list. This is in the shade Peaches and Akeem. It looks so much darker than what it actually is. I really like this formula, but I haven't worn them without liner, so we'll see what they look like. I did have balm on my lips, but I wiped them off, so just so you know. It's so funny because this looks so different than it did on top of, what did I have it? On top of Michelle liner from Natasha Denona and it looked more peachy. This looks like my lips fit better. It, it kind of reminds me of a lipstick form of the Rare Beauty like lip balms, like the Silky Balms, whatever they are that I'm obsessed with. It's just slightly thicker. I really like this formula, but this is Peaches and Akeem, and I'm gonna put on the next one, which is the chocolate one, Sexual Chocolate. This is the one that I was wearing in my very last video, my spring favorite palettes, and I was wearing it with Natasha liner from Natasha Denona. I really, I love this formula. I really like this color. It's beautiful, beautiful. I'm telling you, this is such a good formula. If you like more hydrating but not gonna slip around and move, this is really, really, really a good formula. Okay, now the only one that I haven't tried on is the red tone, or it's kind of more of maroony pink. This is not so Mika. So let's try this one on. See, it looks really dark red in the tube. But let's see what it looks like. Mm. Doesn't that just look glossy and lustrous? Stunning. It is so pretty. I love this. I love all three colors. Ooh, this, I mean, but the formula is the bomb. Oh my God, I love the formula. Okay, now I gotta figure out which one I'm gonna wear and with what liner. Man, these are just like, they smooth out my lips and they look real juicy. And I just, I really like the shine. And I'm telling you, they, all, and I know that they don't move around with the liner, but they don't feel like they would move around even without the liner, which is really nice. All right, I'm gonna figure out which liner and color I want to wear for today, and I'll be right back. So I went in with Kitten Liner, <laughs> and I put Peaches and Akeem on top. And this truly shows just how, like, that shade, well, they're all sheer, but I lined my lips fully the first time with the shade Michelle, which is definitely more peachy. And then my liner is more on the pink side. So that lipstick kind of adjusts to whatever liner you put underneath it, which I really like because it makes it a little bit more versatile so you don't have to worry about it changing your lip liner too much, but it's gonna add that beautiful color on top and that smooth finish, The just, Mm, it is so good. And then I went and got this out of my purse because I can't ever remember what these are called. But I, this is what it makes me think of. I love this formula so much because of the effect it has on my lips and they're so comfortable. I pr These are just like the lipstick version of that a little bit thicker, 
but so amazing. I just cannot get over this formula. I'm going to rave about it and rave about it and rave about it. I'm obsessed with it. It's amazing. I want to wear it all the time. It's amazing. Did I say it's amazing? It's amazing. <laughs> so now that we know that I love the lipsticks and I do love all of the shades, the one that I'm gonna wear the least is the red, but I will definitely wear that color more so when I have just bronzer in my crease and then mascara or maybe a wing. I love a bold lip with that type of look. And it, I mean, I think it looked great with this as well. I just wanted something a little bit softer. Anywho, lipsticks, absolute hit. Let's talk about this palette, which is also an absolute hit. With this palette, I have to mention, my daughter does not usually talk about formulas. She mentioned Natasha Denona the first time we swatched, uh, Pat McGrath, Sydney Grace, um, and there's been a couple, but not always. And she was impressed with these. Sometimes things just don't swatch that well. It doesn't really speak to how they're going to go on the eyes, but I just wanted to mention that she spoke about this formula. She was like, this is a really nice formula because obviously she can feel the way it feels going onto her arm and everything. And I was like, yeah, it's what's on my eyes right now. She's like, it's really pretty. So I had to mention that because it's not something that she mentions all the time. And the palette is gorgeous. I really, I think I'm gonna end up picking up the two other palettes. I don't know that I'll have time to review them, but just based off of this formula, I want them, <laughs> I want them. I love how the mattes performed in here and the metallics, they're very pigmented. I just, I love them, I love them. I don't know what else to say other than there's absolutely no disappointment here. I love the shimmer that is in the first three metallics that just has this little glisten stunning and then the smoothness of these metallics but the intensity especially when you use your finger and I don't like to use my finger a lot but man when I put on that gold I was like ooh, <laughs> and I noticed that as well whenever I was swatching them I do want to mention that I did have some staining after the first look so if that's an issue for you that did happen by the second day when I washed my face again it was gone. So it didn't linger around other than that first day, but I just want to mention it. I am just thrilled with this though. So I am likely going to be picking up the two other palettes from this collection. Oma Beauty is fantastic and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else they come up with. This is beautiful. The lipsticks are beautiful. I have nothing negative to say. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.